Welcome to Tropico, Presidente. I am your loyal advisor and number one fan, Penultimo. And I am here to remind you of the joys of dictatorship. The camera offers a bird's eye view of your island and starting town. Tasks are various goals that allow you to progress within the mission. Some tasks are given to you. Others are started from marker icons which appear in your city. Vive el Presidente! Good evening! Good day. Pester someone else. Tasks are various goals that allow you to progress within the mission. Some tasks are given to you. Others are started from marker icons which... All Presidentes have special executive powers, such as the ability to control time itself. Indeed, being the most awesome person in the world, you are able to accelerate time at your whim. Good job! Fast speed is very useful when you have to wait for things like building construction or the export of produced goods. Time for an official inspection, Presidente. A ruler that doesn't pay attention to his subjects may end up on the wrong side of a coup d'etat. Let's select one of the little tropicans. Hola! Daddy got me a wooden gun!
Presidente. El Presidente. Tasks are various goals that allow you to progress within the mission. Some Tasks are various goals that allow... Paying attention to our infrastructure is very important. Looks like this iron mine has not been connected to a road. This means it will never be able to export its produced goods. Good. Your mine is now connected, and the Teamsters will carry its production to the docks. It will be exported on the next ship that arrives there. Building a glorious future is your most important task as our Presidente. Let me show you how to erect new buildings. Presidente, you are the best leader anyone could wish for. With you in charge, all our dreams are fulfilled.
Welcome to the second tutorial. It will teach you how to research new technologies, create a stable and profitable economy, and how to issue edicts. To research new technologies, you must first build a library. You will need some educated workers to start conducting research in the library.
We can send expeditions out to explore our island and discover valuable resources. For the fatherland! We just discovered the number of times you need to get hit by a plank to actually discover something. It is around seven, depending on the plank in question. We call this the plank constant. I am sure it will become very important one day. While waiting for the research to be completed, let us set up the production of raw materials. Let's order a logging camp from the natural resources category in the build menu.
Good job. The logging camp has been completed. With the planks research completed and the logging camp ready, it is time to build our first factory, a lumber mill. It will process logs from the logging camp into the more expensive plank. Edicts are special laws that you can issue. Let us build something, like a few cheap country houses, to see how this corruption thing works. All buildings have allocated budgets. These encompass the money spent on them each month. Let us build a production building, Presidente. Everybody likes animals. Let us build a ranch. It can be useful both for feeding our people and producing resources for export.
the leaders of the Tropican nation, in our desire to put into words the will of the Tropican people to follow and obey the laws of the state and maintain the traditional universal Tropican values of liberty, peace, love, understanding, siesta, and hidden Swiss bank accounts, to hereby sign the first legitimate constitution of Tropico. Your resources are automatically exported at default prices, but more profitable trade offers will appear from time to time. The trade button allows you to inspect different offers and set up trade routes. Add ships to start a trade route, remove ships to cancel an active route. The managers are either your dynasty members or exceptional citizens whose skills can improve a building's performance. President, you are like a good father to the entire Tropican nation. Some may say that you are just too good. Welcome to the third tutorial. It will teach you how to advance to the next era create a constitution, keep your people happy, and deal with internal factions and foreign powers. Tropico is currently in the colonial era. We are subject to the whims of the crown, and you will be removed from office when your mandate, indicated above the minimap, expires. Two political factors are active in Tropico during the colonial era, the royalists and the revolutionaries. Other factions, such as the militarists, the religious, the communists and the capitalists become prominent in later eras. As you saw in the almanac, the progressive revolutionaries are on your side while the royalists oppose you, just as they oppose the idea of an independent tropical.
Our embassy is ready. Time to invite a foreign power to our island. Jew have invited the allies onto the island. This will strengthen our relationship with them, but worsen our standing with their enemies, the Axis. Be advised, poor relations may result in retaliation against Tropico. Elections are coming, Presidente. No dictator likes them, but they are usually the better alternative to uprisings and military coups. Elections are coming, Presidente. As our constitution dictates, we have scheduled mandatory elections for 12 months from now. As election day draws near, it may be a good idea to check to see how happy your people are. This and other helpful information can be found in the Almanac. Low happiness values indicate that the Tropicans are not happy with certain aspects of their life on the island, such as the lack of entertainment. Let us build a tavern to address this. Let me direct your attention to another important edict, the sovereign debt. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the Crown sent us. Apparently, all you have to do is pull the trigger. Our research was seriously hindered until we discovered you should not look into the barrel when pulling the trigger. <laughs> we lost a lot of good men that way.
Let me explain how service buildings such as our tavern work. The tavern provides people living in the vicinity with entertainment, thus increasing their happiness. We have an opportunity to influence the outcome of coming elections. Strictly speaking, this is not considered exactly legal, but I guarantee that no one will find out. The election results are in. Let me be the first to congratulate you, Presidente. Congratulations! You followed all the steps and won the tutorial. Not that that's especially hard to do, but hey! Thank you.